Hey, third and fourth grade, Mr. Jake here for another episode of Flipgrid Music Lessons. And today we're going to be doing an instrument build as well as doing a healthy choices like We Will Rock You rap at the end. Talk about Red Ribbon Week and how we can stay healthy during this time where the people are getting sick and how we can make healthy choices to keep us going strong and making great music for the future. So first, let's check out our instrument build where we're going to be building a soda straw oboe. And for this, you're going to be needing a drinking straw and also some scissors. So go find those materials right now and then get ready to follow the instructions and get this instrument built. Okay, so as you're going to see, this is a pretty simple build, but there's a lot of ways that you can mess with it and uh, even think about uh, modifying it to change it up. And uh, looking here at the soda straw, you'll see that it is round, okay? And what we need to do is think about, first of all, what an oboe does. An oboe is a double reed instrument. So it has two reeds, not like a saxophone or a clarinet where it just has the one reed that vibrates, but it has two reeds that are sandwiched together that are going to vibrate against each other to make the sound, okay? So what we have to do there is think about how we're going to take this opening and flatten it so it looks like the two sides of the straw, top and bottom, are going to vibrate against each other. And in order to flatten it, we're going to pinch it really good at the sides, starting from about, I want to say like a half an inch down on the neck, like about right here. So we're going to squeeze. Mm. There you go. See, I put like a little crimp in that. I'm not sure if you can tell from this angle, but I'm going to keep crimping with my fingers, flattening it out. So look, now it kind of looks more like a duck bill. Quack, quack, quack. That's what we kind of want there. Now, how are we going to get this to vibrate when we send air down through it? Well, what we have to do is use our scissors now, and we're going to cut it in kind of almost like, uh, if you know the shape of a trapezoid, we're gonna be cutting the corners off. So we're gonna be cutting a corner off this side and a corner off this side. So it kind of looks more like a, a pyramid, but it's still gonna have a flat top. So let me show you. And the best part is, is when you buy a pack of straws, even if you mess this part up, you can always try again with the next straw. So now it looks like we've got our little duck bill there. And those two reeds, if we wanna make sure we go back down and flatten so they sit up against each other, they should be about even. If you've got a little wonky where one side's cut off more than the other, you can always cut it down a little farther and then cut the top off flat, but you want it to be symmetrical, all right? You don't want one side to be bigger than the other. You don't want one cut going down deeper than the other. All right, so as we finish flattening this out, ta-da! That's kind of what it's going to look like. And when you put it in your mouth, your lips are going to close down on the far side of it like this. So these two things, you see how they're flapping right there? That's what's going to be making the sound inside your mouth. But it's going to be inside, like kind of beyond your tongue, inside your lips. Your lips are going to hold down like this, and the air is going to vibrate through these two reeds. That's kind of the toughest part. And we'll talk about that next. Okay, so how do we actually play this? Well, like I said, if you've got your soda straw here and you've got your little notches cut into it for a little duck mouth, and it looks about even on both sides with still a flat top on it like this, what we need to do is put that beyond our lips like that. See how I'm not putting it up to my lips to blow on it like a bottle top? I'm putting it inside my mouth past my lips. And that's kind of the toughest part is finding the playing position. And if you flatten it again down farther on the straw, it'll make it so those reeds sit a little bit more against each other. And what you want them to do is flap against each other to make a sound. Let me try to find the sweet spot. Oh, did you hear that? All right, there we go. Now we're getting some sound. And what's happening is, is as I'm putting air pressure through this, these reeds are flapping up against each other at different frequencies. That's why we're hearing a low and high, all right? That wow, wow, wow. That's my air pressure changing how fast they're going to vibrate against each other. So let's try that again. Oh my goodness. 
As you can see, my sweet spot tends to be about right here. I'm putting my lips about maybe like an inch, an inch and a half past where the reed is. It's very important to think about playing position and where this is gonna go. So really experiment with how deep in your mouth it can go. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the tube shorter and see if it gives me a higher sound. Just like the shorter boom whackers where shorter strings make higher sounds. So when I cut it shorter, let's do an A and B and see how like the frequency or the, the pitch changes. <clears throat> All right, so that tends to be a low sound. Where's my scissors? Here they are. What if I cut the tube down about half as half as long? There we go. Let's see how it sounds now. Oh, the sound definitely went higher. It's not all low anymore, and it's like a little bit more chipmunky. Oh yeah, so now I can't get as low as I used to go. Maybe put like five straws next to each other and see if you can like make the lowest uh, soda straw oboe sound possible. But that's our build for today. And I hope that you uh, watch the video as many times as you need to make sure that you can get it right. And again, try again, try again, try again. This is a trial and error thing. I can't tell you what it's supposed to feel inside your mouth or how your lips are supposed to move. That's something for you and the instrument to work out. And just remember to find that sweet spot is somewhere beyond where the mouth is. You don't put it up to your lips like this. You put it inside. <laughs> and you're blowing closer to the elbow if you have an elbow. You can do it with a straight straw as well. But have some fun with it, and uh, let's see you guys over on the Healthy Choices wrap for the We Will Rock You Red Ribbon Week. That's a fun tongue twister. We Will Rock You Red Ribbon Week <laughs> song. All right, have some fun with that. Okay, so if you have a piano at home or you want to play along with the We Make Healthy Choices, you're going to want to start with your left hand thumb at C, or you can do it with your right hand, but I think it's easier with left because we're going down. And whereas we walk down, we're going to go C, B, A, G, A, A, okay? Or We Make Healthy Choices, sing it. We make healthy choices. There we go. There's the groove. Let's do a stomp, stomp, clap along with that. You gotta keep it grooving like that for the whole song. And I wanna hear you guys singing to make healthy choices. Here it comes. Here's to the week we call Red Living, all about healthy choices and healthy living. I'm gonna be all I can be by saying no to things that are gonna hurt me. We make healthy choices. That's right. Nice job. Give yourselves a round of applause.